Welcome, Anna, Michael, and James. So good to have you all here. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Love, Victor is such a quintessential PFLAG story with the coming out journey experienced by the child coming out as well as the parents. So I would love to hear from each of you what this journey is like for, has been for each of your characters as spoiler free, of course, as you can keep it. So Michael, why don't we start with you? It's definitely about like his self-discovery as like who he is as a gay man and I can openly out gay man. And I think that it, it definitely explores more of like his dynamic and his with his relationship, but also explores the dynamic of his parents learning how to navigate this new world that Victor is in as well. Thank you so much, um, Anna. Same question to you. It's all it's about navigating, you know, this new territory of what you thought was, and now the, the your world has been flipped upside down. And so I think. Um, for Isabel, she really had to listen. And as a mom, sometimes that's not that easy. <laughs> you just want to tell them what to do. Um, and I think it was it was really exciting to play it and to certainly to be part of this um, this ensemble. That's awesome. And uh, James, how about you? It's just really fascinating to watch how uh, Armando and uh, Isabel and the whole family evolved. Um, Armando, my character, specifically how he evolved, not only as as a parent, but as a human being, um, and how his whole world just opens up and his mind and his heart. Um, it's really inspiring to watch. Well, I know I'm excited. I hope, I hope it's not too much of a spoiler to say, I know Armando gets some help from PFLAG along the way. So I'm <laughs> very excited to see that. <laughs> you can't do this alone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. So, uh, as I said, today we're celebrating parenting people. And I know, Anna, I know you're a parent. And I would love to hear from each of you, whether you are a parenting person or you have parenting people in your life, what makes that parenting relationship special for you? Uh, Anna, why don't we start with you? Well, I am a parent. I have two kids. Um, I was really lucky. I was raised in New York. I was raised with two parents who were complete allies. Um, for the LGBTQ community. So my whole life has been um, one of allyship. I've never known anything different. And that was why another reason why it was so interesting to be playing Isabel on, on Victor, because I really had to sort of delve into what she's going through and how she deals with it. And um, it, it was a beautiful experience, but I, I've been very blessed both with my parents and with my kids. Amazing. James, how about you? <laughs> wow, um, I'm a new parent. I, my my, uh, my son just turned one, but what the show did for me was actually it made me realize the importance of making sure that my son, you know, grows up to respect and love himself and and the world around him. So I I'm just grateful for the timing in which everything happened. Just shooting the show and, and learning to be a dad uh, simultaneously. It, it was really a blessing. Well, congratulations. That's amazing. Uh, and yeah. happy almost first birthday. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, Michael, your turn. How about the parenting people in your life? Yeah, uh, obviously I'm not a parent. I'm a, a, an animal parent. I have a that lot counts. of- <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that does count. That does count. Yeah. But I, I think that um you know, I, I think that, you know, as as a kid growing up and like a, a you know, with obviously like a, a, most kids grow up with both parents or one parent or whatever. Um, but I think the thing that a lot of kids forget sometimes is that, you know, our parents are are big kids, you know, even though they seem like these all knowing people, they are still kids and they make mistakes. They're just older kids kids just need to understand that like your parents do make mistakes and parents need to understand that their kids aren't living in the same world that they did and they go through a different kind of struggle that's really so true it's so true it, it's all a journey right whether you're the parent or the kid it's yeah. all a journey um 
Well, as you know, we're celebrating PFLAG uh, Parent Day today. We're celebrating PFLAG Parent Day today and celebrating the parenting people of queer kids. So I would love to ask each of you before we sign off, just if you have any messages of love or support to all the parenting people who've been showing up for their queer kids this year. Um, James, why don't I start with you first this time? I've been so lucky and blessed to be a part of the, the artistic community. And um, as you know, that, that journey allows you to just meet people from all walks of life. And, um, and whenever I, I meet these brilliant uh, people from LGBTQ, it's just, it, it makes me think about their upbringing um, and my admiration and my, my, um, my appreciation for parents that are raising their kids to thrive and grow and contribute in a positive way to this world is immense. Thank you. Uh, Anna, how about you? I mean, I grew up in the 80s, so it was, it, was, um, it was a more difficult situation for kids if they were in any way different, in any way different. Um, and so to know that you guys have your kids back no matter what, um, you're raising justice warriors, you're raising love warriors, you're raising um, the next generation of, of acceptance and love and you're fighting the good fight for the best cause ever um thank you this isn't enough but thank you <laughs> and michael um i definitely just want to say that it's it's not the easiest thing to be a parent when you are breaking your own generational curses and you know even though when you were a kid and you, you know, maybe your family wasn't so accepting of the LGBT community, but you were making efforts to accept your children for the way they are and who they are authentically. I think that that is the most amazing thing in the whole world. And, you know, even though it is difficult, it's more difficult than I, I bet I could even imagine to understand. I just want to say thank you guys for trying your best to break those generational curses and raising your kids to be the best that they could possibly be in an authentic way. Awesome. Well, thank you three so much for being here. And I'm really excited for uh, for this next season. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having us. This was really fun. Thank you so much. This is great. Thank you.